Right, I'm back. I've dug out some WD-40. And I've got a Chelsea Bundle cup of tea, so we're ready to go. is change the brake pads on this Triumph Tiger 995i 2005 and uh, the idea is that we're just going to use the tools that the bike came with so this Triumph um, packet of tools that's located underneath the seat and a ballpoint hammer so um, we're gonna have a go at doing that today so no special tools just hand tools and everyday sort of uh, bits and pieces that are located in your toolbox um, but don't trust a word I'm saying. I'm not a mechanic. Don't believe anything. Please be confident to do it. Right, so first of all, we're going to open up our packet of tools and uh, spread them out. We've got that. And we've got the new front brake pads here, unopened package, we've just started the job, so let's uh, see how we get on. Right, so this is the front right hand side of the bike as you sit on it, this is the wheel obviously, this is the disc, this is the front fork stanchion and this is the brake caliper. Inside of here are the brake pads that clamp onto the disc and slow you down when you squeeze the trigger. So first of all we're going to need a 12 mil spanner to undo these two bolts here. Okay, now when you undo them, try to make sure that you keep them in the order that uh, they came off in. Okay, that's already nice and loose. And what we need now is this star tool attachment. Fits in this screwdriver handle here. And then we'll undo this. And that gives us better. Just sort of it. Trying to hold the camera and do the, the tooling as well. There we go. Make sure you keep the bolt in a nice safe place. Here are the bolts that we took off the bike. This is the top star bolt, that's the top caliper bolt, and that's the bottom caliper bolt. We do this so that when we put the bolts back on the bike, they go on in the order that they came off. Right, so with the caliper all unbolted, it might be a bit of a struggle to get it off, to be quite honest with you, because it's done obviously thousands of miles. And it's kind of baked itself into a place. So work it backwards and forwards. There we go, that came off easier than I thought if I'm honest. And inside the caliper housing are the brake pads, which are these. Yeah, yeah. So the object is to, to change this out for new ones. As the, the, the caliper sits on the, on the bike, there's a, a screw at the bottom of the caliper. Just there, look. So this needs to be undone. With the uh, screwdriver that's in the set, and again, keep it somewhere safe. You can see that, look. That's it. Come off nice and easy. Little tiny grub screw. There we go. Keep that nice and safe with the other lot. And inside of there is an Allen key which unscrews this bolt which retains the, the calipers in place. So after that, they should just drop out. So we'll unscrew that, which looks like that. Can you see that in there? So we need to get that out of there. And again, we're using the tool that's with the kit. Nice and easy look at that. Right, it's a bit difficult to 
Just out the way of the camera and do the job. So you can see it all. See that? It's coming out of there. Yeah. That's it, pull the pin. That we've already come. One brake pad's already out. Get the pin somewhere safe, there goes the other one. Right then, so ideally, to be honest with you, this all needs a clean up. So in the packet, there's the, uh, the bill. Just have a look them up now. Now, if we just put these straight back in here, like that, well, it goes all the way to be honest, but you get the idea. We won't be able to fit the disc in, there's no space. You see that? So the disc should go in here, but there's no space. And what's happened, as the brake pads have worn down, these pistons here, there, two of them, have been pushed out. So what we need to do, we need to push these back in. Okay, and like I said, I've tried to do this with no special tools, and you've got to be very delicate doing this. So, ideally, you buy a, um, a, a brake pad piston pushing tool, and that pushes those back in easily. But like I said, I'm trying to do it with no money at all. Spent on bits. So, you need to gingerly push these back in. Keep it an eye that the other one doesn't come out at the same time. Right, so with the pistons more or less flush against the caliper base, make sure this clip here is still in place. It's the, the, the pointy sandwichy type bit. You should go onto the caliper and grip. Grip it like that. Then it's time to insert the the new brake pads and there's um this I'm trying to show you on the top here this is a runner or like a retainer which these grooves fit in here so it kind of fits in that way and slides across so we'll just do one and this one I don't know if you can see push it straight in well it helps if you've got the right side doesn't it it straight in. Well, I've done it again. <laughs> mm. See that you're taking advice from me and I don't know what I'm doing. So you push it straight in and kind of across. So it fits in to that runner. Can you see there? So within the right place, it fits in here. Let me do the same with the other one. Fiddly into the middle. That's it. Push it across. Sometimes you need a bit of a tool or something to push it across, which is here. Screwdriver. Right. Now that's locked in place. Oh, it's just popped out. Right. So what we need to do now is we need to put our retaining pin back in. Now, ideally, you could. Uh, Grease these up, but um, I haven't got any, so I'm just going to use some WD. Oh, gee, the other ones have popped out. I told you it's fiddly. There we go. Let's just spray this up a bit. Oops, training pin. Push it down into the metal clip, sandwich clip, which is in the right place. Same with this one. Push it down. It's a little bit fiddly. Not to screw it in to retain it. And we will get the Correct size Allen key. Let's 
screw this back in. That's it, and then a little tiny grub screw, which is this one here, it's like a little cap. Spray a little spray a bit of WD on that. Help for the winter months. Screw it back in. Now, as I'm doing this, I find it very useful, my thumb, to keep these in place. Yep. Put it all back together, with it all back together like that, which have a nice little gap. And that basically, as long as these are in the runners, are ready to go back in. That should just slot straight back over that. Like that, oh look at that, good job. Use the same bolts in the same positions. Give the brake a bit of a squeeze, don't ride it until you've done that, to get the pads to uh, uh, come out of the holder and onto the disc. So there we go. What have I forgot? I forgot this little star screw. With that, that side is done. I uh, just need to do the other side and the same principle on the rear. Um, like I say, be competent to do this. Don't blame me if you can't do it right. Uh, it's only meant to be a guide. I'm not a genius. Thank you and uh, goodbye.